Hi everyone, my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be going over the basic loadout that I'm going to be carrying on an overnight for a winter trip in the Red River Gorge, which is in Kentucky. First off, we've got my backpack. Granite Gear Crown 2 38 liter. I just got it, but I've been eyeballing it for a little over two years, so this is going to be its first trip out and I'm really excited. Then I've got a trash bag, my headlamp. This is the Black Diamond Cosmo fire making kit, a bunch of matches, esbit, magnesium, cotton, and chapstick. My knife, this is a Buck Marksman 380. This is some luxury items, and luxury items, a book, journal, Bible. These are my shoes, New Balance Trail 690 map and compass, born and raised on orienteering. This is my tarp. Kelty Noah 9, and there's the stakes and some tie outs. The ground sheet, it's an emergency blanket. This is my sleeping pad. Thermarest Original, it's like 20 years old, but it's really warm and I've used it down to like 10 degrees. Sunglasses, I'm gonna be wearing those, I don't know why I have them there. Trekking poles, Knock Vertex Vecto, whatever. Everything on Knock's website sounds the same. These things. Trowel, toilet paper, Sawyer Mini, Knock, two liter water bag, Nalgene, because I'm gonna boil water, put it in there and sleep with it. Smart water bottle, extra pair of darn tough socks. This is an extra shirt. It's a Reebok warm shirt. Another extra shirt, 80% polyester, 20% cotton. The bag that the clothes go in, pillow. Sleeping bag. It's the Nemo Viola 20. It's rated comfortable to 20. Can go down to 10. Coldest I've slept in it is 14. I was comfortable at 14 in a shorts and t-shirt and at 20 I was sweating in it. I think I think that's actually everything. I didn't unpack my partner's bag but she's carrying two sleeping bags because she sleeps really cold in the exact same sleeping pad as I am. This is the Deuter Air Comfort 65 plus 10. And then she has the first aid kit, Aquamira, the food, the stove. And then she's bringing like 10 liters of clothes. Oh, and she's also bringing a Crazy Creek chair. So I don't know how heavy this is. I'll probably put it in post in caption right here. There's that. That is everything that I'm taking. should probably talk about what I'm wearing now. I've got a trucker cap, a beanie, a cuddle duds fleece hoodie. Right now I'm wearing it as a mid-layer. This is a $3 Walmart synthetic t-shirt. This is a black diamond hooded, I don't even know what the name of it is. It was a gift. Got merino wool on the inside and then on the back. It's kind of like mesh-ish stuff. So it's not a windbreaker, it's breathable. When you're sweating, if you do sweat, hopefully you manage your layers well, sweat will get out and won't stick to you and make you cold. A pair of synthetic $3 Walmart shorts, a pair of Reebok leggings, I've had them since I was 12 for like soccer, a pair of darn tough socks, because darn tough is where it's at. Oh. I'm not wearing it right now because otherwise I would be dying. Gloves and a Black Diamond Stormline Stretch Windbreaker Rain Jacket. That's my clothes that I will be wearing and shedding and layering system. And the clothes that I'm packing, those are for sleep if I want. Probably not going to wear them, but they're there. This is my video on what I'm going to be taking pre-hike. Thank you guys for watching and happy trails!